on, you guys? It's your boy, Alex West Collects here, bringing you another figure review. And today we are taking a look at Jazzer's AW Unrivaled Ringside Collectibles exclusive first time ever. Tony Schiavone, yes, our first ever Tony Schiavone figure uh, is in stock now and shipping from ringsidecollectibles.com. Don't forget to use promo code for life. It will save you 10% off your order. So I don't know about you guys, but I was really anticipating this one. I am a huge WCW mark. Tony Schiavone was like the voice of my childhood on the WCW side. Him, Bobby the Brain Heenan, uh, Larry Zabisco, obviously Eric Bischoff, Dusty Rhodes. You know, again, I was a big WCW guy, so Tony Schiavone's like voice is ingrained in my mind. Not to say JR and the King isn't because I was a big WWF fan and the Attitude Era as well. But we've had figures of those guys, right? So this is Tony Schiavone's first figure ever. Um, and, you know, let's be honest. We all saw the proto pictures. And I don't know how well the likeness is going to be, um, to say the least. Um, hopefully it's better in hand and I will give you my honest opinion. But again, this is only available at Ringside Collectibles. If you guys uh, did a pre-order, Jim Ross was also another commentator from AW. Uh, that was exclusive to ringside we're getting excalibur we also did get taz in uh, unrivaled 10 so we're getting the announcers uh don't forget ringside is going to pump out that announcer booth uh that is should be coming out soon hopefully that'll be up for pre-order within the next few weeks or so but it'd be nice to kind of complete your aw announce team they will all be in like matching attire with the jackets but Tony Schiavone does look great in the box for now. Uh, you can see you got the nameplate here, the awesome image of Tony Schiavone, ringside collectibles exclusive, traditional AW unrivaled packaging. He comes with a chair and a microphone just like JR. The glasses are removable. Um, he is in that suited body with the added articulation, so we'll definitely go through that when we get the figure out of the box. On the side, you got the AW logo. Flipping over to the other side, AW logo, Tony Schiavone, number 102. Awesome image of Schiavone on the back here. Flipping back to the front, we're going to come back and crack him out of the packaging. Here it is, the very first ever Tony Schiavone figure, Ringside Collectibles exclusive. Uh, we're going to go through his accessories uh, real quick. So he doesn't come with a ton, but you do get this announcer chair. Uh, it does have rotation where it can spin. It is a little bit of a pain to pour it in there. I will warn you guys, just kind of give it a little force and eventually it goes in. Uh, the wheels, unfortunately, do not move, but... Uh, you can see the, the sculpting of the chair exactly the same to what we got with JR if you do have that figure. You can see the little headpiece or the padding on the top up here. I will say I was not a fan of this chair and I'm still not a fan of it. Just it looks too damn thin. I don't know. And also I feel like the figures don't really sit that well in them. I mean, real quick, let's get him in position to sit and like at the announce booth. I mean, look at the chair itself. I feel like it doesn't even really reach his head unless you really kind of slouch him down. But... I don't know. I just feel like the chair could be better. I do like the Mattel versions for the commentator chairs a lot better, to say the least. It just has more size to it. Um, you also do get this AEW microphone, which we have seen a million times, but only makes sense for an announcer to come with a microphone, right, guys? And moving on to the figure. So let's just jump right into the head scan. So here's a close up look at Tony Schiavone with the glasses. The glasses actually do sit on there pretty good. They don't seem to pop off. I feel like I had a little more issue with JR where I kind of had to use the hat to keep them in place. But they do come off before we get to the head scan. Let's look at the glasses. A little big if you ask me. I don't know. I, th I thought the same thing with JR. Maybe they are a little big. Maybe it's just me. But clear glasses with the black frames. Here we go. The Tony Schiavone head. Oh. Uh, to, you know... It's just, I don't even know what to say. Like, the likeness obviously is not there. Something with these nostrils are really taken away from the figure, if you ask me. To be honest, something about them, just they're flaring a little too much. I can see where they were going with the likeness, but it just, it does not look good. I mean, I am I hate to say it because I know a lot of us were really excited for this figure. Maybe from certain angles, it looks better. It's really the hair that's saving it, but something about this scan, I don't know if it's just too cartoony or what, or maybe the application of the, the facial hair. But it doesn't have the greatest likeness to Tony Schiavone. Again, we don't have anything else to compare because this was his first figure. Um, so I think that's the disappointing part. But, you know, at least we have him in our collection. We have, we can say there's a representation of Tony Schiavone. Um, so, but moving on, you can see the attire. He does have the blazer with the AW logo. On the back, nothing. You can see the nice cuffs on the sleeves. Similar JR. He's got the, the gold button as well to button the, the jacket. And I, I didn't like this on JR, and I still don't like it. I don't like the articulated piece. Um, 
for the commentator. I don't like how it's broken up. Just looks a little weird. I feel like I would have just went with one solid piece with the jacket. I know that's probably very like old school way of thinking or just how all the kind of suited figures are made. But I've never seen this on any other line, right? Unless I'm, you know, I collect a lot of different figures. I haven't seen a Marvel Legends. I haven't seen with DC figures where there's like articulation like this. It's usually underneath the jacket. I know it hinders it a little bit, but he's an announcer. I don't really need him to take a lot of bumps, you know? Uh, but again, I it is what it is. Uh, you do get some added articulation even. You get the thigh cut. You do get the calf rotation, the double jointed knees. There is some rock. You do get the rockers with the ankles. It's a little tight, a uh, little up and down, not too much. But again, he's a commentator. You're not going to need a lot of articulation for this figure. He does have the tan pants, uh, and you can see the black shoes. So all in all, I, the attire is what it is. I don't really mind it, minus the added articulation with the diaphragm joint. Uh, but again, the head scan could be a little better. Let's come back and we're gonna do some comparisons. For your first set of comparisons, on the left, we have the Ringside Collectibles Jim Ross AW Unrivaled figure, which was released not too long ago. You can see they do share some similar features as far as the pants. The shoes look to be somewhat similar. Uh, the jacket, I will point out, does have some different design. You see Jared has two buttons versus the one with Tony Schiavone. And again, the, the ties themselves are different paint applications on them. Um, and we have Taz here from the Unrivaled line, Unrivaled Series 10. Uh, don't forget, we are getting Excalibur. He should be coming out shortly, and you will be able to complete your AW Announce team. And you can see they do look really nice standing together side by side. Here we have Tony Schiavone next to the Supreme Brit Baker and the Unmatched Sting here on the right. And also here we have Tony Schiavone next to Michael Cole to see how he stacks up versus some WWE Mattel announcers. And here is something I have ringside at my display. I have my WCW announced team. This is the team I grew up listening to. Uh, we have Larry Zabisco and a custom Bobby the Brain Heenan I put together using, I think this was a basic, I want to say J&J Security. I don't really remember. It's been so long ago. So my original plan was to eventually get this figure and kind of convert him into a WCW Tony Schiavone. So obviously we would remove the sunglasses or the glasses and kind of have Tony right here. We pop off the head and I actually had another body laid out. So I'm kind of curious to see how this would work, even though the likeness really isn't the best. And I hope this will port into the peg. Oh, man, that is a little stiff, but a little bit of the giraffe neck. Oh, man, unfortunately, that doesn't look the greatest, but I got to figure that out some play with it. Yeah, I do want Tony Schiavone in his WCW days on the my announce desk for my uh, arena display. Maybe that, there's another body I can use, but for now, unfortunately, this will not work. Before we wrap up here with some final thoughts, if you guys haven't already, please make sure to hit that like and subscribe button down below. For all you guys new to the channel, thank you so much for checking out this video. We hope you guys have enjoyed and will subscribe and stick around for more reviews coming up down the road. Thank you to all you guys who have been supporting me throughout the years. It really does mean a lot. As far as this figure goes, I mean, I'm a little disappointed just like you guys. Is it as bad as it looks in the pictures? Maybe not. Um, maybe I'm just slighted by the fact that we finally have a Tony Schiavone figure. It's just... You know, so very particular. I don't know if we're going to get another one in the line. I'd hope so. Um, I want to say that maybe the... I don't want to speak for them, but I hope the Jazzers team knows that this didn't turn out as good as they probably had hoped. And it may be a while, but hopefully we do see another release of Tony Giovanni. I don't know if they can even consider doing like a flashback version of him, maybe with longer hair and just no facial hair. I don't know if that's possible. Maybe. Um, but again, this is probably going to be your only bet for a while. So if you do want him in your collection, this is the only figure out there. So go and grab it. I will say $29.99 is a, a little pricey for this figure, but they probably only produce so many and that's probably the reason for it. I mean, you're only getting a chair and a microphone and it's kind of like a reused suited body. Um, maybe wait for a sale. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say this is going to be a hot seller, especially for the aesthetics of the face, but you know, if you are interested in grabbing this, it is available at ringsidechronicles.com. Don't forget to use promo code for life. It will save you 10% off your order. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video review, and I'll catch you all on the next one.